Hi guys, Ryan here. We've covered the basics of the sound pads in two other videos, how to load new sounds, change colors, and so on. But for those looking for the ultimate customization, you can also change how the pads react when you hit them using the supplied software. Using the Rodecaster Pro configuration software, you can change the playback mode for each pad. By default, they're set to replay mode. This is like a drum machine, where each time you hit the pad, it'll restart playback, allowing you to do stutter effects. There are also two other modes. Play mode will make the pad completely play the jingle to the very end once before resetting, more like a CD player. Hitting the pad again won't do anything if the jingle is already playing, which can be really handy to protect against accidentally hitting the pad by mistake. But if you do want to stop the sound from playing back once you've already pressed play, you can simply press and hold that pad and after a few moments, the sound will stop playing. Latch mode works in a similar way, except hitting the pad once will start the audio and simply hitting it again will cause it to immediately stop playing. That can be really useful for long music beds, which you want to be able to start and stop before they get to the end. Note, you can set the modes separately for each pad. So you might set any long music beds to latch mode, but keep the sound effects on replay mode. Thanks guys, and check out our other videos in this series. Happy podcasting.